What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. As you guys know, I'm a huge gamer. I'm always on my PlayStation 4. So today I'm basically going to be sharing with you my 2018 PlayStation gaming stats. So I recently got my email from PlayStation telling me about my stats. That's something they usually do, but this year it seems like they're having a problem sending out those emails. Mine was extremely late. I didn't think I was going to get my email. So they do also have a link to get your stats. Now it only works if you are in Canada or the United States. Only North America doesn't do it for the rest of the world. With this link, you basically just type in your PlayStation information, how you would normally sign in. Usually it's just your login information, and then it will tell you all of your stats. So if you didn't receive your email, I will leave it linked down below so you guys can check out your stats as well. So this past year, I have gamed a lot, so I'm assuming this might be a little bit of a shock to me. But let's go ahead and check these out and see basically what my stats were for 2018. Okay, so I have it up here right now, and basically it just says about your information, so it has your PlayStation ID. Thanks for playing with PlayStation in 2018. So that's the screen that you should see whenever you first log in to your account information after you click the link down below if you have not received it. And basically you can just scroll. Um, so in 2018, I played 28 different games up from last year. I kind of wish that it shared what... I played last year what games I did last year and compare it it just tells me that it's up from last year so I wish it would have included that my top games for the past year WWE 2k18 I know I did play that a lot 789 hours I play a lot of universe mode doing stuff like that I did a lot of online I did a lot of the trophies the campaign so to me that does make sense why it is so high but I'm assuming that they count pause menus because in PlayStation even though you are if you are paused you're just sitting in the menus it does accumulate time so I'm assuming that's why this one is so high next up is Fortnite 486 hours that seems accurate I did play Fortnite a lot in 2018 and NHL 18 was 376 hours for NHL I did play I think with two GMOs, uh, two different teams for GMOs, it was about 20 to 25 seasons in total I played, and then about another five seasons worth for my career mode. So I did play it a lot, and this confirms it right here. Top genres was fighting. Played seven games in total. I'm trying to think what they all would be. WWE 2K17 to finish off some trophies. 16, or sorry, 18, probably UFC 3, and probably a lot of the others. Um, I clocked in 2,900 hours of gameplay, 2,915. That is a lot, a, a lot. That is shocking. Up from last year as well, I figured I would be. Um, your time spent across, so, okay, so that makes a little bit sense. VR, I don't have VR, so that's why it is zero. 156 PlayStation Online Hours, I'm assuming that is just playing online, and the rest, 2759, is playing on my own, which I have been playing a lot on my own, solo stuff, campaigns, different things like that, WWE Universe Mode and NHL, they're by your, uh, not online, so, longest gaming streak, 14 consecutive hours, I'm assuming that means if you leave it in rest mode, if I'm doing an update or downloading a game or something like that, I'll leave it overnight in uh, rest mode, so I'm assuming... That includes my game time and then leaving it overnight as well. Maybe. The average in US and Canada is 11.2. Okay, so it's a little bit higher there for me, but I'm assuming that's why. My uh, prime gaming hours for 2018 was daytime. I know in 2017 it was nighttime, which is usually when I games. Now daytime, because I haven't worked for the past over six months, that does make sense. And Tuesdays are my prime day, okay? Trophies. I'm a trophy hunter. If you guys did not know that, 400 and sorry, 644 total trophies in 2018, up from last year. I'm sitting at just over 1,800, which I'm really proud of. So for 2019, my goal is to just hopefully get at least 200 trophies, just so I can be at an even 2,000 or more. That is my dream for 2019. It's very doable because 650, almost 650 trophies for 2018. That is a lot. Um, I got six platinum trophies this past year. Um, and it basically breaks down everything else there. Uh, keep going here. Uh, PlayStation Plus, I downloaded 
18 free games for 2018. Um, I don't like that it's yellow here. You can barely read it. Top plus game played online is Grand Theft Auto 5, clocking in 64 hours. Now, I'd assume a Fortnite because I've played it for so long and it's online. That one should take this place. But I might be wrong here, but I think Grand Theft Auto Online counts as PlayStation Plus game. And I think that's what it's counting here because I don't have too many PlayStation Plus games that I play, especially online. So I'm assuming that's why it is so high. Let me close that there. Um, okay, there's 28 free PlayStation games available to download last year. I downloaded 18 of them, and I think this just shows all of them there. My total 2018 summary. So it breaks down every month that for basically 2018. It says the amount of games you played, different games you played each month, how many trophies and how many hours you played. So by looking at this, um, I would say July would be the most I gamed in 2018. I earned 127 trophies. Now, it used to be for me December. Because I'd be trying to finish off all of the trophies that I got the previous year. I'd try to be finishing off as many trophies as I could. While also, I'd be getting the new games and getting all the trophies for them right off the bat. is what I usually do. So I assume December would be a lot higher. But it is third because March is only at 88 as well. 77 for December. So I thought that'd be way higher. And it says, thank you for playing Takedown9955. That is my PlayStation name. It says I'm a masterful warrior. I'm assuming that's because I played, oh, it even says here, 68 games, almost 3,000 hours of gameplay, and 644 trophies. So I am a trophy hunter. I didn't think it was going to be that many trophies. I didn't think it would be near that. But that is probably the most shocking thing. The hours played, I'm assuming it includes if you're in the pause menu and you're doing other stuff, like I'm usually on my laptop editing videos or doing stuff like that, and my PlayStation is on, so I'm assuming that it accumulates time even though you're not playing it, especially certain games it might, um, but the trophies, I know I gamed a lot. I'm a trophy hunter, I've been trying to get as many trophies and platinum them, games that I know are easy to platinum, and especially last year, I think it was... Um, right after, yeah, it was right after my 22nd birthday. I was sick for two weeks straight and I basically gamed for that two weeks straight and I was basically trying to get as many platinums and as many trophies as I could done. So that's basically why it's so high. Plus those platinums, I got six platinum trophies in 2018. Most of them is whenever I started the game. I started the game and ended up platinuming in it. So, um, there's a lot of trophies there. So now it basically just tells you features for 2019. Basically an ad telling me to buy PlayStation Now or PlayStation Music. Coming soon for PlayStation Days Gone. Oh nice, it says all the games that are coming soon. I'm going to be making a video on that on its own of games that are coming out this year that I'm excited for. WWE 2K20, NHL 20, Need for Speed Underground 3 are the three ones right now I'm most excited for. But I'm going to bring up a list and do that for another video in a couple weeks and basically just share with you guys what I'm most excited for for 2019. So these were my gaming stats for 2018. Some of them seem a little bit shocking, but it is because I did play a lot in 2018. I haven't been working for over half of 2018, so I've been gaming a lot there. I was also sick for two to three weeks almost back in right after my 22nd birthday, so I was getting a lot of trophies then. So it does add up and it does make sense. So if you wanna check out your gaming stats as well and PlayStation hasn't sent you your email, as long as you live in Canada or the United States, basically North America, and that's the only way that you get it. If you live over in the UK or anywhere else in the world, you will not be getting your stats. They don't share your stats for some reason. I think that's a little bit odd, but if you do live in Canada or the United States and you have not received your email, I will leave it linked down below. Basically, just click the link, sign into your account, and it should show you all of your stats. So I will leave that link down below for you guys. I will leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.